Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Ready or not, today is quickie day number two for Marie Calendar Sides. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quickie as much as you did yesterday's quickie. After all, there's nothing better than a good quickie. It makes no sense to waste a lot of time doing something when you can get it done in a matter of minutes. As promised in yesterday's video, today we're trying Marie Calendar Sides sweet corn casserole, which is sweet whole corn kernels and a creamy cornbread batter with a touch of cheese. Why is there cheese in everything nowadays? My grandmother would be rolling in her grave if she knew that somebody put cheese in a corn casserole. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to my grandmother's corn pudding casserole in the description box. This 13 ounce sweet corn casserole costs $4.99. And you can heat it in the microwave or the oven. I'm heating all of Marie Callender's sides in the oven. And that's just a little bit backwards than a quickie. You'd think since we're doing a quickie, I'd be cooking it in the microwave. And there's really no logic to me doing a quickie in the oven. Even though cooking this in the microwave would make more sense for a quickie, I like to be a rebel from time to time and go against the grain and do the opposite of what I'm supposed to do. No logic is required. Before we go any further, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the like button and the bell button so you don't miss any future videos. I also got a comment the other day and it wasn't a mean comment at all. It was just someone nicely asking if I could stop reading the nutrition facts when they could read them on their own. I remember this question being brought up years ago and I did a poll on it and the consensus was overwhelming that you wanted me to continue reading the nutrition facts. I personally like reading them for you, the people, so you don't have to. And it's something a little bit unique that separates my channel from other food review channels. Let me know in the comments and hitting that like button if you want me to continue reading the nutrition facts. And here's the list of ingredients. And if you want to hear something really boring and totally unnecessary, a long time ago, on my very first food review videos, I would read every ingredient so you, the people, didn't have to. Alright, this is different, and this is a first for me. There's two and a half servings of a little bit more than a half a cup, and a little bit less than three quarters of a cup. Couldn't they have just added or subtracted enough corn kernels to get it to a half a cup or three quarters of a cup? In any event, there's two and a half servings per container. Each serving has 340 calories, 21 grams of total fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, two grams of polyunsaturated fat, six grams of monounsaturated fat, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, 520 milligrams of sodium, 32 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, 14 grams of sugars, and six grams of protein. Now see, wasn't that much nicer just to sit back and listen to me read the nutrition facts so you didn't have to. Now here's our sweet corn casserole still frozen right out of the box. Now our corn casserole goes into a preheated 350 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. After 45 to 50 minutes, remove the plastic and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. That seemed like an awful long time to cook such a small casserole. Well, the quickie part was the video, not the cooking time. Here's our sweet corn casserole after baking in a 350 degree oven covered with plastic and then for another 15 minutes with the plastic removed. This seemed like the perfect cooking time for the maximum brownification. So we went in and got a spoonful of our corn casserole. You see those edges that are almost burnt? That's the sugar in the corn and the mixture caramelizing which equals tasty bits. However, this is more of a cornbread than it is a casserole. So you're gonna need a nice big cold glass of buttermilk to wash this down. The flavor isn't bad at all. It was nice and sweet, but very dry. There was no creaminess or cheese to speak of. Again, this is cornbread and not a casserole, at least in my opinion. We took a couple more bites and towards the center, there was a little bit more moisture, but still not a lot. Overall, flavor-wise, this was pretty good. However, I think I would cut way back on the cooking times to prevent it from getting so dry. I'd give Marie Callender's sweet corn casserole a 5 out of 10. 
If you like today's quickie, stay tuned for tomorrow's quickie when I review the Murray Calendar's Cheddar Broccoli Casserole, which I'm not looking forward to. Frozen and then cooked broccoli usually does not turn out very good, and it's usually a mushy mess. But that's why I do these videos, for you, the people, so you don't have to. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.